Duda makes a point to make the most out of each step, out of each day. It's hard as an able body, and now being paralyzed, a spastic paraplegic, it's all upper body, so I am just using my arms, and that's what's getting me through the 26.2 miles. Using crutches and her upper arm strength, Duda is running the Vermont City Marathon. She's raced this race before, competing twice using a hand cycle. Basically taught myself how to get up and move. She is an athlete at her core, in body, in mind, and spirit. I'm thrilled she's doing it. She wants to live for quality of living, not quantity. She doesn't want to sit home conserving calories. She wants to run. But she's never run quite like this before. All the large intestines gone. I only have a small portion of small intestine left, so I don't absorb any food. She's faced numerous health challenges since a spinal stroke in college paralyzed her. Now Duda gets all of her nutrients through a central line. Her body won't absorb them on its own. Race organizers and her doctors would only allow her to race if accompanied by someone every step of the way. My husband, my soulmate, my rock is uh, actually going to be next to me the whole ride. It'll be John's first marathon and it'll be my last. So it'll be, um, I think, very emotional. Doctors say running the marathon will likely take a month off of her life. It's time for family. It's definitely time. She says with every step, she'll keep pushing forward and let her life run its course on her terms. In Plattsburgh, Leanne Denyer, NBC5 News.